Okay, everybody, this is April Monique. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, this is going to be a kitchen unpack and organization. With As you can all see, I am officially out of the house. I have officially sold the house and I am here in my new apartment. This is actually my first vlog that I am shooting here in the apartment, y'all. So this is my kitchen. It is a little bit different from the house kitchen, but I, you are brand new to my channel. Please consider subscribing. And if you're a brand new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. And if y'all are wondering what's going on right here, your girl got some turkey wings and some turkey necks defrosting right here so i plan on cooking that later on this evening i have done my grocery haul oh these avocados are getting kind of old y'all but i did a little grocery haul last weekend oh yeah they're getting old um but i bought avocados i picked up some groceries i'll be doing a grocery haul with you all really really soon and um here goes some other things here that needs to be unpacked this is just some stuff that came from the house that needs to be unpacked we have canned goods in that bag i actually have canned goods back here um desperate times comes to desperate measures y'all i was packing up a two-story house things got hectic and at the last minute i just ended up grabbing a laundry basket and throwing this stuff in a laundry basket but i, I did use towels because i have a lot of our glass dishes in this basket so i did use towels to help cushion the dishes and keep our dishes from breaking and i moved this basket on my own i did not have the movers move the basket um and we have two boxes here and some more Okay guys, so I am finally done. 
Let me give y'all a quick rundown showing you all what the kitchen looks like. I put my blender right here. It's right across from the sink. It's in a convenient spot. I also put my little dog figure with my seasonings over there. I rarely use my salt and pepper seasoning from that decorative item. So that's why I put my seasoning there because I rarely use my salt and pepper from that particular item. So I think that looks really cute right there with the light. Moving on over here to the other side. Uh, because of the layout of the kitchen, you know at the house I had the cereal boxes on top of the fridge. If you look at the fridge here, there's cabinets here and oh yeah, the cereal boxes could not fit up there because the height of the shelf, I mean look at the chips, the chips are slanted. So the shelf is just not tall enough to fit those cereal boxes um, over the fridge. So I went ahead and just utilized the cabinet space right beside the fridge and I put the cereal boxes there. I put our, our waffle maker there. Now in the event that I end up buying like four or five boxes of cereal, I'll just move my waffle maker right here or worst case scenario, I have room under there. A lot of room under here. I could just always stick my waffle maker in there. Okay, so just like at the house, I still have my clear jars with my um, spoons and cookware in the jars. I have my crock pot still on the counter, basically in the same position like it was at the house. Um, I did want to have kind of like a uh, like a little miniature bar area. I don't drink a whole lot, <laughs> so the. This is just really for like, um, if I just wanna have a glass of wine in the evening after dinner or with my dinner. So yes, I have a couple bottles of Stella Rosa and Arbor Mist. These are my favorite drinks right here. And I was so happy that I was able to find some space on the countertop to put those drinks right there. Coming over here, I was able to put my toaster right here. And this toaster is in the same spot like it was at the house right beside the stove. But at the house, we had the fridge here inst instead of this wall. But the toaster is in the perfect spot. Plus, I have my main seasonings back there. Oh, let me uh, show you all the pantry. Uh, we have a pantry closet, really identical to the one we had at the house. But the one at the house was a little bit bigger than this one. But I'm making the best out of this pantry closet. So I just have some items up there, some canisters here. I have like the overflow of food items here, crackers, peanut butter, nacho cheese, um, our extra rice, syrup, honey, things like that. Down here I have some disposable spoons, some disposable cups. On one side, foil on one side, the other side is more like a utility this side. This is really awesome. Uh, we had like cabinets over the microwave at the house, but you couldn't put anything in those cabinets. So if you go back to my old videos, they were like two small cabinets over the microwave, but you, it was no absolutely no space to put anything, but I am so happy I can put space in these cabinets right here. So yeah, I have like my coffee tea. Last but not least, y'all, I hope I don't have to make this into like a two-part series, but nonetheless, here we go. Okay, so the bottom shelf right here, we have food items, we have brown rice, jasmine rice, we have some pastas in the back, some mac and cheese, some seasonings, gravy, etouffee mix, you know, little gravies. Up here we have like some, you know, instant noodles and instant rice, dirty rice, things like of that sort, yellow rice. And these top two shelves are dedicated towards medicine. So we have a lot of cold medicine, headache medicine, pain, over-the-counter pain medicine. Just in the event, oh, and our vitamins, vitamins at the very top, but in the event we get sick, we are well prepared here. So thank you all so much for watching my video all the way to the end. I'm not gonna turn the camera around. I didn't wanna make this video really, really long. Please comment, like, share. Please subscribe to my channel. I love you all and I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.